that God, that his power is strongest when we're weak on our weaknesses. That our weaknesses are not a bad thing. It's something that he can use. He can use it to get us closer to him and learn more about him. The theme this summer is real power. Um, the theme is about um, just using um, our weaknesses and um, boasting about them and realizing that God's power um, can shine through those weaknesses. Um, I really think my campers have learned from the theme and knowing that they don't have to be ashamed of their weaknesses, um, that they can boast about them and they can be um, glad that those, th those, that those weaknesses are happening to them um, because they will see the Lord's power shine through that um, and just like seeing that real power. He's the same God that he um, it's about how God has the real power in life and not just um, to stray from that power. I've learned lots of things from the theme, but one of them is that you should just trust that he has all this power and that he'll use it well. The theme is about recognizing God's power even in the midst of our weaknesses and how he can work through us and his glory can be shown when we are weak. And he makes me strong when I am weak. I've seen the theme of real power work in my campers um, this week through all of them started out, they didn't know each other, uh, came from different parts of o Oklahoma and Arkansas, um, but they came together and all of a sudden like they have this desire to push each other for Christ. They have a desire to learn more about Him and to um, learn about His real strength, His real power um, in their daily lives. And they each want to have learned how to go home and to um, really seek after God in the Word, um, learn how to use His strength in their daily lives, and um, to push through their struggles to know that when they are weak, He is strong. I want the glory of His life to shine. So the theme is real power, and I've learned that even though we are personally weak and we sin and our sinful nature just takes a hold of us, Christ is strong and He is our power and He will give us strength whenever we are in weakness or we just need His strength to last us to live through life. Yeah, we talked a lot this week about um, real power, how all of us, but the campers especially, we live in a world that tells us that we should hide our flaws, hide our weaknesses, push it down, don't let anyone see because real powerful people are strong and they have it all together. And Jesus just did not teach that. Um, his kingdom was one of love and grace and he saw people's flaws, he sought out the people on the fringes um, and he loved them and he showed them that they could be strong despite their weakness through him. I need, he's my strength when I'm weak, I believe. Um, I've seen the theme of real power through my campers um, because they'll come up to me and during like word or talk back or um, some other thing where like everyone's being super vulnerable, like they'll say like they'll finally realize that their imperfections don't keep them away from God and that's just so empowering because like seeing like these girls who I know have struggled with like self-image and stuff like that and um, they've just always thought that like their imperfections are keeping them from being like a good Christian or a perfect Christian and so like seeing them finally realize that like God wants you wherever you are. God calls you to follow Him even if you're in the lowest of lows or the highest of highs. So um, just seeing the campers realize that and uh, want to follow God no matter what is just super awesome. He moves my mountains when he speaks. Um, in our weakness, we do not have to just rely on ourselves. We, God's real power works through uh, inner weaknesses so that we will always have power. <laughs>